Hello, and how are you guys doing today? This is Mr. Muscarello coming at you, and in this video lesson, we're going to take a look at finding x and y-intercepts for linear equations. Now, let's just kind of review real quickly what a linear equation is, because it's a fancy way of saying it's just a line. So the most common form, of course, is y equals mx plus b, which is your slope-intercept form of a line. And the other one we'll take a look at is going to be standard form, where you have ax plus by equals c, but a and b are not going to be fractions, and a, in fact, must be a positive number. All right, so there's going to be a two forms we're going to look at for linear equations and finding x and y-intercepts. So let's take a look at this example. Find the x and y-intercepts for the equation below. Write your answers as coordinates. Now, a lot of times when you see an equation in this form, so this is in standard form, you're going to see teachers go ahead and make what they call an x-y chart. So you're going to make an x-y chart like that, and what you're going to do is put in 0 for the x to start with, and then we're also going to do another equation where we put in a 0 for the y. Now, when you put in 0 for the x, all right, that's going to be 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. And some teachers will actually even call this the cover-up method because what you're going to do is you're going to take that first term, that 2x, and you're going to cover that up because 2 times 0 is just 0, so that's just going to be gone. So you're just going to have 3y equals 6. Solving that for y, of course, you get y equals 2. Now, it says write your answers as coordinates, so 0 and the answer we got for y is 2, so that, of course, will give us the coordinates 0, 2, and that is going to be our y-intercept. Now, we do the same thing for the x-intercept, except this time we are going to let the y be 0. So we're going to have 2x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. And of course, 3 times 0 is 0. That term is gone. So you're going to have just 2x equals 6. So then you get, not y, silly, you're going to get x equals 3. Now, when you write that as a coordinate, don't forget, the 3 is going to come first because that's the x value, and then 0 is going to come second. So 3, 0 is going to be the x-intercept. So that's how you find the x and y-intercept for an equation that's in standard form. You can use that technique called the cover-up method or make an x-y chart, but solving the equations, that's what you're going to do. And some people are really good, and they can just do those in their head. But as always, be sure you do your arithmetic correctly. Now, what happens, though, if the equation is in slope-intercept form? Well, there's a couple different ways you can do this. You could solve this and put it in standard form, and then go ahead and do it like we did the last one. But most people aren't going to want to do that. They're going to be like, what? That's so crazy. Now, notice this number right here, since it's in slope-intercept form. That number is the y-intercept. So your equation, like you're already done. So you're going to have y equals 2 is going to be your y-intercept. So the coordinates there, of course, are going to be 0, 2. That's going to be your y-intercept. So that's really, really easy. That's like you don't even have to do anything for that. You just have to remember y equals mx plus b, and b is the y-intercept. So nothing to do there but pick off that number that's sitting in the b spot. Now, however, if you're finding the x-intercept, of course, what you have to do is let 0 go in for the y. So this one's going to be a little bit more work, not too much, but we're going to put 0 in for the y. y equals 2 thirds x and then plus 2. Now we're going to move that 2 over, so you're going to get negative 2 equals negative 2 over 3x, multiplying both sides by 3. And some people will be able to do this in one step, but I'm going to do it in 2. So if you multiply both sides by 3, you'll get negative 6 of negative 2x. And when you divide both sides by negative 2, of course, you end up with 3 for the value of x. So the coordinates of the x-intercept are going to be 3 and 0 for the x-intercept. So that's how you can find the x and y-intercept for an equation that is given in y equals mx plus b or slope-intercept form. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and give you one here that I want you to practice. Three x, negative 3x plus 4y equals 12 and y equals 3 fourths x plus 3. Now you should come up with the same answer in both. So take your time, hit pause, and then come on back and check your answers to see how you did. So how'd you do? Hopefully you got 0, 3 for the y-intercept and negative 4, 0 for the x-intercept. 
So by now, hopefully, you are able to find the x and y intercepts for an equation that is either given in standard form or slope-intercept form. All right, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Peace out.